Hey, what's up guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And as you guys can probably tell by the gameplay footage here, what we're going to be doing is talking about quarterbacks. That was an amazing throw on the run there by Final Edition Andrew Luck, who is my current quarterback in the game, as we're in late July at this point. Now, guys, what I wanted to do in these videos here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an upcoming series here over the next couple of weeks as we head into Madden 16. And basically what we're going to be doing is counting down the best players from Madden 15 ultimate team so we're going to start off by counting down the best quarterbacks in the game right now I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below if I missed anybody or uh, if you guys completely agree with the list let me know in the comment section below I would greatly appreciate it also at the end of this video I will be asking another question that will have to do with the next video so we're going to talk about another position in the next video and I want to hear what you guys have to say so leave those comments in the comment section below let me know who should be on the next list. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Hope you guys enjoy this video as we count down the top five quarterbacks from Madden 15 Ultimate Team. First on the list, guys, we have an honors card. This is one that I used for a little while on my own team, and that is, of course, 99 overall Aaron Rodgers. First of all, the card art on this one is awesome. You gotta love it. 24 hours only. This card was one of the best cards in this game, arguably the best quarterback in this game for the longest period of time, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, definitely one of the better overall quarterback cards in this game right now, still up until this point, which, you know, there's really not a whole lot of time left in Madden, so it's surprising that a card that came out months ago is still one of the best quarterbacks, but that's the way it is. You gotta love this card. Definitely, like I said, one of the best in the game still to this point. So let's compare him to my Aaron Rodgers, or to, to my Andrew Luck, excuse me. Um, so we've got Aaron Rodgers on the left, Andrew Luck on the right. Obviously, you can see some comparisons here. They're very, very similar to one another. I would say Andrew Luck is slightly better in a lot of these areas, uh, which overall will make him a better quarterback but like I said Aaron Rodgers when this card came out was so much better than any other quarterback that was out the only really card that you could compare him to as far as you know which one was better was the ultimate legend Mike Vick card and that was really only better because it was faster but Aaron Rodgers at 88 speed was certainly very very mobile and he had all the other attributes that you would look for as well including the throw power and the throw accuracy he does lag a little bit behind in the throw accuracy mid and throw accuracy deep in comparison to some of the other top quarterbacks now in the game. But when this card came out, like I said, definitely the highest in pretty much all of those attributes. Now, when you actually consider the fact that Aaron Rodgers was the NFL MVP this year, it's a little bit surprising that he never got an upgrade from this card, which definitely if there was an upgraded Aaron Rodgers, he would have certainly been you know higher on this list in my opinion. But still, even though he didn't have an upgraded card anywhere from this point, at least up until the point of this video being made, which is of course late July, we don't have a higher overall Aaron Rodgers card, but like I said, if there was a higher one, he would definitely be higher on the list. Checking in at number four, we have Andrew Luck, final edition, 99 overall. Guys, this is my current quarterback right now. This is a card that I, as soon as I saw it come onto the auction block, I had to buy it. I told you guys when I did a review on it that this is one of the best quarterbacks in the game, and you guys absolutely agreed. Checking in, like I said, at number four, Andrew Luck. Combination of speed, agility, throwing power, throwing accuracy. He really has it all, guys. There are very few players in this game that are more well-rounded than Andrew Luck. Look at the acceleration, the speed. 95 acceleration, 91 speed with 91 agility, guys. Then you go down here to the throwing power at a 99. Go down to the throwing accuracy attributes as well because he definitely has some great throw accuracy attributes. There they are, 100 throw accuracy short, 94 throw accuracy mid, and 96 deep. Now, I understand the 94 mid isn't spectacular. It's not up there with the best pocket passers in the game, but he's definitely one of the better players, like I said, when you consider the fact that he also has the ability to run as well. Another thing that I really like about this Andrew Luck card, I don't know what it is, but man, that 95 throw on the run, he just makes some money throws for me on the run. So I'm a big fan of this card, and I absolutely believe that he deserves to be in the top five.
At number three, we have another extremely versatile player. You guys are starting to see that trend, aren't you, at this point? Yeah, 99 overall, a boss edition, 24 hours only, Steve Young. This card is absolutely crazy, guys. I just want to show you guys in comparison to what Andrew Luck has. Yeah. He pretty much blows my Andrew Luck out of the water in just about every single attribute. 96 speed, guys. That is just ridiculous for a freaking quarterback. But let's go down here and just compare these attributes head-to-head -head because, like I said, he is just an absolute monster of a card. 96 speed, 97 acceleration. That speed is just so crazy. And then you look at the throw power, 100 throw power. And then all the way down here at the very bottom, this is the thing that just makes him so money. These throw accuracy attributes are just ridiculous. 101 throw accuracy short, so he's better than luck at 100, if you believe in the above 100 or even the above 99 attributes, which is still up for debate, of course. But 99 throw accuracy mid, 5 higher than Andrew Luck. And then he's got 103 throw accuracy deep with 99 throw on the run and 98 play action. Just absolutely ridiculous, guys. This card is crazy, crazy good. And what's really funny about this card, if you go back and remember what actually happened the weekend that this came out, people were doing the solo challenge for the uh, to actually be able to unlock the ultimate team item that you need to complete the regular version of this Steve Young, the non-boss 24-hour edition. And people were actually getting this boss card in those packs. As insane as that sounds, they were getting this card basically for doing a solo challenge. And it was like, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that all of the the uh, cards that were coming out of there, like every single pack when you did the solo challenge for the better part of an hour was giving you this Steve Young. So if you guys were on there and you got this card, you got a quarterback that you were able to keep for the entirety of Madden 15 Ultimate Team. So absolutely beastly, guys, and certainly deserving of being number three on this list. At number two, guys, we have a card that I was a little bit surprised to see. And again, I don't necessarily disagree with this, but it's a little bit surprising to see a player that isn't a mobile quarterback in the top five among the best quarterbacks in this entire game. But you guys agreed with me. Tom Brady, Ultimate Team Edition, is one of the best quarterbacks. Let's compare him to Andrew Luck so we can get a better idea of exactly why we believe this is one of the better quarterbacks in the game right now. Now, obviously, the speed and acceleration combination of Brady... Not the best in the game. 77 speed doesn't really compare to some of the better quarterbacks in the game as far as speed goes. But he's still a little bit mobile. He's not a complete statue like a Peyton Manning or one of those type of quarterbacks. So he's definitely a beast, though, in just about everything else. Take a look at these attributes, guys. 100 throw power, 102 throw accuracy short, 101 throw accuracy mid, and 100 throw accuracy deep. He is 100 or above in all all of the attributes for throwing the football that is incredible guys there is very few items in this game that can compare in terms of the pure just throwing the ball down the field attributes that Tom Brady possesses and that's what I think makes him one of the better cards in this game not only that but if you look at the price of Brady he's not as expensive as a lot of these other high-end quarterbacks which makes him a great value for those looking for a high-end quarterback but they don't want to spend the money to get a golden ticket or a uh, you know a final edition one of the, the rare ones when they're first coming out or of course one of the boss items that is also in the game this card started off fairly high priced at around 500000 if I remember correctly, when it first came out, but it has since dropped significantly, and a lot of people are able to afford it now. So you're seeing a lot of teams out there that have this Tom Brady as their quarterback, and he is definitely, definitely the best pocket passer in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. And at number one, guys, you guys can probably imagine who this is going to be. Absolutely the number one quarterback in this game. And the price indicates it. Still going for over $2 million on a lot of the auction blocks, depending on what system you're on. But almost always going for at least $1.7 million. We have a golden ticket edition Mike Vick only 50 of these made per console and of course it makes sense because if you made more than 50 of these things this game would have been broken real real quick 
Mike Vick, absolutely ridiculous. Compare him with Andrew Luck real quickly. This is my quarterback again, guys, the 99 Andrew Luck. It is just not even remotely close. 102 speed for a quarterback, guys. 102 speed. That is just absolutely ridiculous. And then you look at the acceleration as well. 99 acceleration. Not only is he the fastest quarterback in this game, he is one of the absolute fastest players in this game. He's only really comparable to other golden ticket items and the boss edition of pretty much like Bo Jackson. And that's about it. Other than that, pretty much every other card is going to be left in the dust by a Mike Vick. And if you look at some of these other attributes as well, 101 agility, just absolutely ridiculous. He also has good carrying for a quarterback as well at a 78, so he's not going to typically fumble quite as often as some of your other quarterbacks do. But if you look at his throw power, 102 throw power. Crazy high attribute there. Obviously, you'd imagine that with a Mike Vick card to have a huge cannon arm, and he absolutely does. Then look at some of these other attributes as well. 97 spin move, 99 juke move, just making guys drop their pants in the middle of the field with some of these moves that he has. But if you look at his throw accuracy, obviously Mike Vick was never this good at any point in his career. But for a golden ticket item, it was an improvement on his boss edition of his card, which it was crazy to begin with. That was, I believe that was the first ultimate team item that they put out was that Mike Vick, if I remember correctly. But uh, obviously the boss edition was crazy good and the golden ticket being an improvement upon that is a much better item than, than even the boss edition. So 100 throw accuracy short, really, really good there. And then obviously the 98, 99 from mid and deep with 100 throw on the run. Crazy, crazy stuff. His play action's a little bit down. It's an, only a 92. It's not bad, but uh, certainly not what you'd expect by the best quarterback in the game. But when you compare the fact that he also has such ridiculous speed and everything else, the huge arm, all of the attributes for this card definitely make it one of the absolute best items in the game and certainly the best quarterback in the game. So again, guys, number one quarterback in Madden 15 Ultimate Team, Mike Vick. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, please be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you're new to the channel, help me out by hitting the subscribe button. Now, I want to ask you guys if you'd help me out because in the comment section of this video, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say for the next top five of Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And I'm going to be doing the top five running backs from that game, from this year's game. So I want to hear what you guys have to say. Who are the five best running backs from this year's game? Give me the exact card. So if you think it's the, the boss edition of Bo Jackson, please let me know. If you think it's, uh, you know, golden ticket LaShawn McCoy or, or whatever card you think it is, let me know in the comment section below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I want to get those opinions from you guys so I don't miss anything. And of course, so that we have the best possible data to go off of when we're making these lists. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, smash that like button. Give me a, a shout out, if you will, on Twitter as well. I would appreciate it, guys. But thank you so much for all the support, and I will talk to you guys again soon.